Bradley P. Reynolds Stadium in Stillwater, Oklahoma. The champions of the Summit League and the three seed this weekend, the Oral Roberts University Golden Eagles, taking on an at-large team out of the SEC, the Arkansas Razorbacks. Andrew Benintendi. Yeah, he's an electric player, and they don't throw those terms around a whole lot. But when you watch him, he's a 5-2 guy. He can hit. He can hit for power. First off speed pitch, and Watley hits that up the middle into the center field. And the way the Stillwater Regional begins is with a Matt Watley single. You can't lose sight of. There goes the runner. Throw down to second, and Watley's going to be in safely as Pinnell. Air mailed it into center with Benintendi back. 3-2 pitch to Matt Brandy. Left side. Past the diving third baseman, Warnis in the left. They're going to hold up Watley at third as the throw comes in from Serrano. To the alley and left center field. And that's going to give ORU the lead. Picked up by Serrano on that wet turf. Brandy stopped at third to second is Sequera with an RBI double. His team leading 21st two bases. A lot of times, that would bounce all the way to the fence, and that's in the air. Right field, right center, Spoon coming over, tagging is Brandy. The throw is going to come towards second base. Scoring is Brandy of the second run of the inning, and for Audi Afner, his 43rd RBI, and ORU has scored two in the top of the first. Got it past Cummings for his first strikeout, but ORU. That's just tough to kind of just put in the back of your mind. Hit sharply up the middle and a base hit. So Benintendi with a two-out single. Not running Benintendi, and that's lined left field. Domenico going back, and he makes the catch. The ball was struck pretty well by Spoon, but lines out to left field. And he fans Domenico had him reaching there, and the strikeout begins the inning. Driven, left center field, Serrano over his head and off the very top of the fence. And into second is Stafford, who missed a home run by inches. New Jersey says, or what conference you play in. Hit by Watley, a little bloop, man. The shortstop, Michael Bernal, makes the catch to end the inning. Goes into the Stillwater Regional, batting for the first time today. And on the 3-2 pitch, walks on a close one on the inside edge. But this year, and he's caught four times. He does take off and protecting a swing and a miss. That was not tipped. In the center, James coming up throwing. Bernal to the plate. That will be late. RBI single for Pinnell, so he couldn't get the bunt down. Busted hit and run. And it winds up knocking in Bernal for the Razorbacks' first run of the day. Runner was off, flipped, still got the lead runner and turned into a double play. 6-4-3 ends the inning. Well, even with Pinnell off with the pitch, it goes Wilson. 15th, a two for four with a six RBI game. And he whacks that through the middle on the ground and into left center. And a base hit for Afner. And once again, it's been a little too, too meaty. And that's a line drive to third and a... Climbing the ladder, Bobby Wernis. 2-1 changeup that was just smoked to third base. What a play by Wernis. And then he immediately has the presence of mind to think, oh, maybe I can double the guy on the line to left his first time up. Hits one in the air to center field. And Darian James, a couple of steps to his left, two down. Up the first baseline softly, and after steps onto the bag, and that's a quick inning. Second three up, three down frame for the ORU starting pitcher, Guillermo Trujillo. Settled down since then, is now pitched into the fifth, and that breaking ball is chopped over the head of Wormus. The shortstop, we're all able to grab it in shallow left. Way outside, off the glove of Pinnell, and that will allow Watley to advance. Lays down the bunt, forces Killian to make a good play to nip James, and Watley advances over to third. Rocket to right center field is trouble. That will score Watley. And Intendi cuts it off to hold Brandy to a single, but it's an RBI single. Brandy's 45th run batted in, and ORU has the two-run lead back. It's 3-1. to one. Put your hands up. You can slow them down, but you can't speed them up. A rocket to center field. Benintendi retreats, reaches up, and makes the catch. That almost got over the head of the center field. 
Breaky ball whacked up the middle and into center and a base hit for after his second hit today. Right field, Tyler Spoon. But ORU picks up a run on three hits. Five innings of work from the starter, Trey Killian. The numbers this year for Lowry, who makes his 19th appearance. On the ground, right to the second baseman, Rick Namura. From getting knocked out earlier, he was able to at least get him five innings. Rocket to center field. Benintendi reaches up and hauls it in. Just the one run lead in the bottom of the sixth. Towards deep short. Diving attempt off the middle. Wilson. Lead off hit for Serrano. Through the right side. Cummings plays it in. Two on, nobody out. Lead the SEC hit average. Home runs on base slugging. Ripped down the right field side. That ball fair into the corner and may give Arkansas the lead. Serrano the tying run in. Wernis waved around and he's going to make it without a throw. The SEC player of the year, Andrew Benintendi, gives the Hogs a 4-3 lead with a two-run double. Breaky ball right center field. That ball is going to get down. It checks up on that wet turf. James has to do the same and Spoon will change places with Benintendi who comes in to score and it's been a three run inning. It's 5-3 Hogs. The first baseman. Lefty lays down a bunt. A look to third and he almost took too long of a look but nips Egan a sacrifice that goes 1-4 advances Spoon over to David in facing Namura with the infield and he able to hit it over the head of Brandy and in comes Spoon and it's 6-3. Well, that's always a danger of bringing the infield in. It was a back if he grounds at the third. Stafford goes to Brandy for one. Low in the dirt. Dug out. Got him. Nice play by Afner. Second double play today turned by the ORU defense. Rip to right. That's headed towards the corner. And we'll check up on that. It's been a damp outfield turf for a number of days. He's been dominant. He's been, dominant. He's been a big part of this Arkansas turnaround. We talked about their bullpen kind of spearheading the way and turning this thing around for them earlier in the season. Well, Zach Jackson was a big part. Fastball to Cummings, and he hits one through the left side. 3-2 breaking ball strikes out Domenico. Top of the eighth, 2-2 pitch. Fastball, and he located it that time on the inside corner to strike out Wilson. Well, he went one for 14 in the SEC tournament, and he is three for four today to begin the NCAA tournament. Spoon off the mitt, flipped a second safe, everybody's safe. But well, Wilson made a good play behind the back. Egan skies one right center and deep. Cummings on the run, gets to the track. A dive, he can't get it. Played off the fence by James. An attendee is at the plate. Spoon scores. It's a two run triple for Clark Egan. The Juco level. Whacked into left field. Domenico makes the catch. Egan tagging. Here comes the throw home, and it's right on the money, and they nail. Egan at the plate, a double play ends the inning. Tall, lanky, right? He's got a little kind of a sidearm submarine motion. Sidearm and submarine guys. Hit hard up the middle. And a one out single for Matt Watley. His third hit today. Yes. Arkansas and out away for moving to the winner's bracket. Inside, ball four, and a walk keeps the game going for ORU. Deep drive, right center field, and this is a two-run game. Off the scoreboard. Three-run home run for Anthony Sequeira, and it's eight to six. And how big do the two runs in the bottom of the eighth look now?
Well, and we talked about it at the bat. This was a good matchup for Sequeira. He's a good low ball hitter. You got a sinker ball guy on the mound, sidearm guy. A redshirt sophomore from Little Rock, Josh Alberius. It's going to be 87 to 90, 91. He's got a good arm. Playable to right field. Tyler Spoon is there, and Arkansas hangs on and wins it 8 to 6 over ORU. Nail biting time at the end, but Arkansas hangs on, Jay. Yeah, they survived. And in your regionals, that's all you want to do is find a way to win the game. It was ugly at times. Strike zone floated around a little bit on their pitchers, but they were able to get the out when they needed to and survive. And what a day by Benintendi. If you're going to make hay in the regional, you got to have your guys do it. And, and he was huge today for Arkansas.